I saw a question pop up recently about security and what's the best way to be secure with Lifter LMS uh, WordPress website. So I wrote down six kind of key tips to look at. Number one is having a good hosting plan. You're probably gonna look at a company like WP Engine or Kinsta or Flywheel. You're looking at about the $30 per month per site plan. Uh, you can probably get away with something a little bit less, something like SiteGround or GoDaddy or Bluehost if you're operating on a budget but optimally you'd be looking for those dedicated WordPress hosts that exclusively work with WordPress and uh, companies like WP Engine. Uh, they're listed on this bug forum. It's a, um, a place for security experts to test the security of the platform. So they always have security experts testing out the security of WP Engine. They're like white hat hackers that will let WP Engine know. So they're the kind of company that's on those directories that is you know, asking the community to try and test their security and help them by letting them know any vulnerabilities so they can fix them immediately. That's a, a great thing to look at in a hosting company, for example. The second thing you want to look at is a security plugin like WordFence uh, that will help you detect malware and vulnerabilities on your website. So uh, that is a feature of the free plugin, the malware and vulnerability detection. They also have some more firewall and some more security features in their paid version, but you can find the free version on the WordPress repository. Another thing is keeping your software up to date, staying with like the latest PHP version, keeping our plugins, themes, and WordPress installation up to date. That updates tab is super important for security as well. Then keeping it simple with the software tools you use. So if you extend outside of what the tools do by adding a ton of plugins or adding custom code, you may expose some security vulnerabilities. Most of the tools in WordPress test for the core plugin security. So really sticking with what the core tools do as closely as possible is going to keep you as secure as possible. So the next thing is to use strong passwords, especially for admins. You want to use like eight, uh, eight digit alphanumeric passwords, maybe even longer for like admin accounts. If you're working with a really secure, site or a site that needs to be really secure. You probably want to enforce secure passwords and things like two-factor authentication as well uh, via text message or email or something like that. But secure passwords all around is good, but especially for those admin accounts. And then running consistent backups is important for recovering any information or if something does happen on your website, you could restore to a backup. Ideally, you could run a backup like once every four hours but a lot of hosting companies and backup tools will give you like a once per day uh, backup schedule. And there are some free plugins like Updraft Plus for that. And there are some other paid plugins for running backups that I definitely recommend looking into. So yeah, that's the six core aspects of security, good hosting, good security plugin, keeping your software up to date, keeping it simple with the software tools you're using, sticking to what they do, using strong passwords and running consistent backups. This has been Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.